Hey everybody, this is Josh. I'm going to be going over uh, some of the basics today. Uh, we're going to begin with uh, just basic shapes, uh, how to make circles and ovals whenever you're designing something in InDesign. Uh, so you're going to want to start by going over here to your frame tool. And you can also use the uh, just the regular tool for this too. But the frame tool, this is, this is what's going to it, it's going to fill the inside of, of whatever you're making here. So you go over here, go to Ellipse Frame Tool. And if you want to make a circle, you're going to hold Shift. And then you click and drag out. And that's going to give you a perfect circle there. And then you click back on your Selection Tool. And you go to colors or swatches, whichever one you prefer. Uh, and you can pick out a color. Let's say we'll do a black circle here. And then if you're not familiar with, with how the color uh, how the colors work on here, basically you have your inside and then your outside or your stroke. So let's say you want to give the uh, the out outer edge of your circle a uh, different color you're going to highlight the stroke and bring that to the front or you can just hit X uh, and let's say we want to do like a red outline on your black circle and it's kind of hard to see here but you got a little red outline then you're going to to make it bigger you're just going to go up here and right now it's at one point and you can arrow up or down on your keyboard and it'll go up by one or you can do shift up to go up by uh, 10 it'll go up to the next whatever the next 10 is so if you're at 5 then it'll go up to 10 if you're at 13 it'll go to 20 and then uh, if you need to go change your color on the inside of the circle you go back here to fill and you just scroll down to whatever you want on here. And if you want to kind of work with it and make your own color here, you can go to your um, your color options. And then if you're doing something for print, you're going to want to go with CMYK. Uh, it just prints better that way. It's going to look, look correct when you print it. Uh, and if you're doing something for web or for TV, you're going to do RGB. And basically, you just slide your color settings till you got it where you want it. I kind of like it here with that little metallic blue look. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then if you're going to do an oval, it's the same idea. You're just going to go over here, click on your uh, ellipsy frame tool. And then you're doing the same exact thing, except this time you're not going to hold down shift. And that's going to let you kind of create it however you want. So if you want to do it, you know, kind of long and skinny like that, you could. If you want to make it kind of a big old fat one, like an egg or something, you can do that. Uh, you just click it and drag it, and, and when you got it how you want it, again, you just let it go, and you can... Uh, do whatever you want with it. You can also, yeah, this is another thing. It's you don't have to just use these. If you uh, want to use your eyedropper tool, you can kind of pick and choose what color you want. And so that's how you you make uh, circles and ellipses. And next, I'm going to show you how to do uh, different sorts of uh, like pentagons and and uh, hexagons and things like that, as well as stars. So. Uh, be sure you check that out.